This whole thing with Obama saying the rich don't pay their taxes is <laughs> And I voted for the guy and I'm a Democrat. What a <laughs> The rich don't pay their taxes. Let me tell you something, right? First they say to you, you're dead broke. The United States of America, you can do anything you want. Go for it. So then you go for it and then you make it and everyone's like, you. <laughs> And that was actor, comedian John Lovitz, who is now in the spotlight for going on that epic rant against President Obama and his class warfare rhetoric. And while some have gone as far as calling Lovitz a Nazi for his comments, he says he's been receiving calls of support from within the entertainment community and even getting job offers. Joining me now to explain it is the man himself, actor John Lovitz. How are you, John? Great, Sean. Thanks for having me on. You know, I, I kind of, I enjoyed it. You know, because it's refreshing. Remember when you're a comedian, all of a sudden, you know, Bill Maher's funny. You're just talking about class warfare. You're not attacking the yes. president's kids. You're not. You're talking about, hey, wait a minute here. Why do you think there's been such a right. crazy reaction to this? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for being about the only person that actually gets it. I, I'm a comedian <laughs> in my own comedy club, John Lovett's Comedy Club and, and Podcast Theater in a, it's Universal City in Los Angeles. Anyway, I was on stage with Kevin Smith, the director, and I was watching TV, and he keeps saying they're not paying their fair share of taxes, the millionaires and billionaires, and, and he's lying. It's not true. So I was screaming at my television. And then I just came out of me on, uh, on stage at night. And I think it's getting a big reaction. I don't think it's because of me. I just think what I said struck a nerve because it's true. Yeah, you know, all it's just a fact. Isn't all great humor, though, rooted in some truth here? Look, I, I've, I've been very critical of Bill Maher. I don't like when you use the C word against a woman, the T word against a woman. He gave a million dollars to to the president. Fair enough. I don't I'm not going to boycott HBO. I don't believe in boycotts because that's a way to mm -hmm. silence people. What's interesting to me about this is two things. One, you voted for Obama and two, people expected a backlash and you said just the opposite has happened. No, there's been no backlash, and uh, uh, I found out a TV show I did a pilot of. I'm pretty sure it got picked up today. Uh, we'll find out for sure. But I'm yeah, I'm getting book offers. I'm getting other television offers. I'm getting movie offers. There's been no backlash, and I, because what I said is true. And I am not saying that some people are not cheating the government. They are, you know. And and the IRS goes after these people. All I was saying is, I know what my tax rate is. It's 35% plus 11% state and FICA, Social Security, and it goes over 50%, and then you have deductions. That's all I said. What do you think of the people, as you, you actually tweeted this out, that are calling you a racist and a bigot? <laughs> it's so ridiculous, you know, because I... I, I I said I paid my fair share of taxes. But to me, that just shows that what the president's doing, and it's just a propaganda of this 1% versus the 99%. Nobody's against people who make less money. Everybody's in the same boat, it's the same economy. And, you know, I. I open a club. I created jobs. I need people to work there. I pay them. What people don't realize, when you open your own business, the last person to make money is the person that opened the business. Yep. You have to pay your employees. You have to pay for the, you know, we have food and liquor. You have to pay for that. You have to pay the comics. You have to pay the other performers. Uh, you, know, you have insurance. You have a liquor license. Oh, it's on ridiculous. and on. You have to it's... redo the club. Yeah, I haven't made a dime. Yeah. Well, Everybody's but... made money in that club except for me. Here's where you screwed up, though. You want me to tell you? We, can we... We have an honest relationship. We've known each other four and a half minutes. Um, here's where I think... I met he, you at the U.S. Open at the tennis match. I remember. I, remember. I do remember that. Uh, but, but here's the point. You voted for Obama. Why did you vote for him? Do you regret it? Would you vote for him again? I, I don't regret it. I believed in what he said, and I, I thought he thought like me, and he made sense, and I voted for him. I thought he was... Obviously, he's extremely bright. And uh, so I voted for him. Would I vote for him again? I don't know. I don't want to say, I don't know who I'm going to vote for. But I've said before, I would never tell anybody who to vote for because I'm not qualified. And what if I tell someone, you should vote for this guy, and then I'm wrong? But what I find is it, he's hypocritical with, with saying that, you know, the 1% don't get us. And, you know, he's a multimillionaire now. 
you know, they're not paying their fair share of taxes. Now I'm going over, over to George Clooney's house to get money from millionaires and billionaires, and he collected $15 million. <laughs> and, you know, Wall Street are the bad guys, but now I have to go to a dinner with Wall Street people to get money for my campaign. I got I to roll, but how could you vote $5 trillion in debt? We have a net loss of jobs. He's done nothing for the economy. He promised he'd cut well, the business deficit wise, in half. It's, it's just, and now he's yeah, demonizing you and others. Yeah, I just think he should, instead of making people uh, victims of people who are successful, we should be telling people, look, you're having a hard time. I feel bad for you. Let's look at what you're doing. Let's teach you how to succeed. Let's give you the tools to succeed, as opposed to turning everybody into victims. A victim mentality is what he's selling, and, and nobody with a victim mentality will get anywhere. Right. Ever. They'll never succeed. Well said. John Love, it's good to see you and uh, appreciate you being with us and let not your heart be troubled. Thank uh, you, Sean, and I hope you and Al Franken make up and become <laughs> friends. <laughs> Hell will freeze oh, over and someone first. said to ask you, they go, what should I ask John Hannity? And they said, ask him, was he born in Kenya? <laughs> no. I thought it was funny. Maybe Kenya, Ireland. I don't know. Is there such a place? Uh, all right. Thank you, John Love. It's good to see you. Thank